GIS uh, 151 Lab 10. Once you have uncompressed your GIS 151 Lab 10 folder, you can open the folder that does not have the zipper file and this is what you should see. You should see the MXD and a Word document and the PDF and a folder with your data. We can open the data folder and take a look at all of the shape files. Again, you're working with vector shape files. First thing I want you to do is go ahead and open up the MXD. And I'm going to move this down a little bit so it'll fit in the window here. And your map may look a little different uh, than this when you open it up in class, but you're going to open your MXD and you're going to save it as in the same folder that you were working in. So you were in Lab 10 and with your name. I went ahead and close that right now. And if you go back to the folder you're working in, you should have the original MXD and then you should have your copy that, you're, that is going to be your working copy. It's really important that your MXD is in the same folder with your data because the way the program is set up with relative pathways, you are going to need to have your data uh, adjacent to your MXD file in order to work with your uh, documents. This way, when I'm done with it for the day, I can close this folder and take the entire GIS 151 Lab 10 folder uh, as a backup on my hard drive or backup on my flash drive.